I mean this ability to lead. I mean, you can't be a singer unless you are a leader. You walk out in front of them, and you have no choice. You, you <laughs> must be the focal point of attention. You, yeah. you are going to lead them. You know, with opera, I mean, it's ridiculous. I mean, you have to have such a tough skin because, you know, you go into one audition, they'll say you're amazing. You go into a second, they'll tell you you're horrible. So that's important because it builds you a tough skin. Yeah. Um, you end up just with skin so thick that, that nothing scares you. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, you'll just walk up to anyone or you'll start anything or you make any phone calls or go in front of anybody, you know, because you, you, you've you got that strength behind you. And more and more and more, as uh, science and math become commodities, because right. things can do it so quickly for you, what are you doing to come up with something new and different that will resonate with your audience, whether or not it's business or music? You know, you stand at a whiteboard in front of a bunch of clients that are ready to tear you to shreds. Right. And you have to be confident to move forward with an idea. You have to be confident to lead in a business way in, in some direction that you think is going to be right. Right. Uh, you're in the middle of a song, you got your guitar in your hands, and you know you're in B, ready, go. Right. And, and that moment, that moment of what am I going to play here, what am I going to do here, is absolutely the same as standing at a whiteboard because you've got an audience, the audience is wanting to know what you're going to do. Right. One's a little bit more hostile than the other, but not always. And uh, they could both be hostile. <laughs> and, and you really have to, A, trust your team. B, you have to trust your creativity. And you have to be willing to take a risk. There's somebody singing in a bar... Uh, you know, on Bourbon Street or whatever that is a better piano player than Billy Joel or Elton John. And that is one thing that I definitely learned from my music career, which is just being great doesn't necessarily mean you're successful. Right. You can't just go back and practice for another 13 hours a day and, <laughs> and suddenly get signed. In the same way, you may not it, it may not be about just making a better product with 12 new features or cutting your price by 32%. It, it, you've got to find ways to get into the public eye, get noticed, and, and make sure that people are out there. I learned how to be improvisational, yeah. uh, improv improvise when I was singing. You know, I would get on stage, and sometimes I wouldn't know the words, and I'd improv <laughs> improvise, or I'd, I'd want to take the van, we'd, we'd take it somewhere else, we'd improvise right. we'd with these arrangements that we created on stage that were just wonderful. Right. Well, the same is true for business. Yeah. Sometimes business don't go as planned. Yeah. And you got to improvise. Yeah. And you got to think on your feet. you got to come up with some new strategy. Let's try this. Let's right. go here. And so think about it, business. You've got a business plan, and you've thought it through, or you've practiced it, but it, it something changes, and you can then take that business plan and flip it or change it or, or, or alter it or augment it or, uh, or diminish it. Yeah. And, and, it, and it has an impact on your business. Music just completely filled my life. Right. I mean, that was life in the small town. I did school because, you know, that's just what you were expected to do, but I did it only as an obligation. Every waking moment, I wanted to be involved in music someplace. Well, one of the reasons I think that I gravitated to the marketing arena is that I'm very comfortable being on stage. I like being in front of people. Right. And so the sales and marketing role that I'm in the direct mail marketing business, right. pitching concepts, um, making presentations to people to help them understand uh, and connect with stuff, uh, there's no doubt that performance yeah, it gave me an edge up on others. When you're in a music program, you have got to be able to focus your energy on what you're doing, your thoughts. You can't be all over the place. You've got to discipline yourself and focus, mentally focusing and being able to um, push through discomfort and, uh, I guess, inconvenience to, to gain a result, you know, a good result. The tendency is to slide towards the kids who are getting it right away. They yeah. get it. They fall, They find the system, they work the system, and they get rewarded by the system. Yeah. With the honor societies and this and then that, and then there's the pictures and the able. You know what? That's, that's great. Those kids are working hard for that. The musicians in your schools need support, and it's not about making them musicians for life. It's the, it's a, the reality of the situation is that they probably will play an instrument for the rest of their life more for enjoyment than anything else. Right. But that creative brain is necessary. Without that creative brain, you're not going to get great history teachers someday. Yeah. You know, you're not going to get great free-thinking politicians.
politicians and great free thinking, uh, you know, urban designers and all this other stuff. Right. Those are the people musicians really are. Yeah. And that's where that funding should be considered. And when it comes to success in business, I think the first place that people fall down and, and fail is by refusing to own up to their actual dream. You know, rock bands teach us that the actual dream is to be world famous, to play huge arenas and change people's lives. And so when people come to a business, I wish more of them would say that, you know, that, that your goal is not to scrape out a little money so that you don't have to work for somebody else. Your yeah. goal is not to, you know, provide a service for cash. Right. It's instead to change the face of the world through what you do. Yeah. And I think if more people came to the, came to the table like 16-year-old rock musicians, they would find a lot more success and a lot more happiness in the success they find. Here's what people say. When I ask people to tell me what are the five most important things in, that in life, period, even though the order is different, people usually say their spiritual relationship, their relationship with their spouse and children, their physical well-being, their financial well-being, and music. Yeah. I mean, it might be in a different order from different people, but, but typically people who've kept music into later life rank it as being one of the five most 